Hi there. So in this video, we want to actually display the name of a designer in the second label here. So for that, we're going to have to make sure that we get some more information from the Dribbble API. So here on the Dribbble website, um, we can see the endpoint for the for the shots here. And we see that when we return the, the JSON file here at the bottom, we have an element in the dictionary which is called user and that is a whole new class and we can get an ID, the name, the username, the um, URL for the avatar and other information. So what we want to do is we want to create a new model. So what we want to do is we want to create a new model in our application for this user. Alright, okay, so now let's go back to Xcode and let's create a new class in our Dribble API. So I've called that user and that's user.swift. So now let's um, create the, the class here. Okay, so we have our new user class and let's put in the variables. So here are the variables which you want to use. So we have the user ID, the URL for the avatar, the name, location, number of followers, number that they're following, and the number of shots they have. The URL for the shots is going to link to more information about what kind of shots they have. We'll see that in a bit. And then we have the following URL, which is going to be list all the followers, the people that they are following. And then we're going to use this data to actually display the, the image for the avatar in a bit. Alright, so now let's have an init method that will actually initialize all these variables. Alright, so here's our initialization method. So we're going to do the same thing that we did in the short class by actually going into the dictionary and then pulling out the data from the dictionary. And then we have the same thing here. So for example, we have the, if you go back to the Dribbble website, you can see for the user, we have an ID, which is actually the person user's ID and the name. These are, these are the keys for that user. So if you go back here, we're doing the same thing. So for the ID, we're pulling that out. And then for the name, we're using the same method which we used in our short class which is called get string from json so we probably want to refactor this since we're using this in two classes refactor this into a separate class so i've called so i've called these utils so but we haven't created that so let me create that then we can get then we can use that in both places so i'll copy that actually i'll cut that and i'll create a new utils class here So let's make it a class function so we don't have to create a new instance of the object so that before we can actually use this method. So that's the utils. And then if I go back here to use it with Swift, no, sorry, yeah. So that should be working fine now. And then we can actually go back to shot.swift and then refactor this and use the utils class instead. Okay, so now we have our new class, so now it's time to use it. So now going back to our shots grid controller.swift, we have the self for item at index path method here. So here we loaded the title, so now we also want to load the username. So we go to cell.name label, it's called. Okay, so now we've, so we actually want to now go in here and then add the username to the to the name label. 
so we're gonna have to, to cut so I want to create like a new user variable in our shot class and then pull out the name from that so now we haven't done that yet now let's go back to shot and actually add a new variable here so now that we have that we want to plot the information from the shot dictionary okay so this is how we're gonna do that so we in our data dictionary going back to the Dribbble API you see we have our dictionary here and under that we have our user key so what we're doing here is pulling out the key for the, the dictionary that, that goes under the key user and making sure there is one by doing this so if let user data is equal to that and if there is one we're gonna go into this if clause and then we're gonna create a new user and this is going and this is going to go into our initialization function here and create a new user for us all right so now going back here we should we should have not have any more errors and then let's run that on the simulator and then see what we see what we get yep so that's what that works fine so this is the username and the user's name and then the title for the shot um, but we can see in some places we have that actually shooting off of the UI here in this case and here as well so now let's fix that in the storyboard and we're going to do a little bit of auto layout here so we have our label so what we can see that here is our label is pinned to the left let me just show you the constraints down here so this label is pinned to the left of the UI and then also there's a vertical spacing in between that. But then if this label is too long, it's gonna basically overshoot here. So what we wanna do is we want to drag that to the end and then add another constraint to make it stop here. And then if it's longer, then it's just gonna trail off at the end. So what we're going to, so we've dragged that. So we're gonna to go to our label and then we're gonna add here a trailing constraint and then um, so I'm holding control, so control drag to the cell and then add another trading constraint in there. So if we run that again, we should have our nice labels working for us. So yeah, there we have it. And then if it's too long, it's going to basically trail off. Same thing here. Okay, so one other thing which I think is probably a good idea to do is to have the title to be larger than the name. But that is a matter of preference, right? So, but then just to show you how we can um, basically play around with information. So if you go back to the short cell.swift class, so we see here that we have our name label, the font size is, is 14, and the title label has a font size of 11. So let's switch that around. So I'll give that 14 and I'll give that an 11, and then we run that and then see how that works. Yep, so that looks better. So this is actually an idea of design, right? So basically this information is more about the shot, right? So since this is more about the shot, the title of the shot should have a bigger weight and then the name, which is kind of like a sub information, has like a lower, a lower weight. So one other thing we probably want to do is make that darker and then make this light. So I'm going to give that, change the colors around. So this is going to be a white color, so somewhere grayish. So I'll give that to the name and I'll give the title label a black color. So run down the simulator, here's what we get. So that looks more like a very nice um, display for the app. So thank you very much for watching these videos. Um, as you can see, we've come all the way from from scratch to connect to the Dribble API, pull out information from that API, and actually display that in a very nice looking grid, as you can see here. So I hope that helps. So this gives you an idea of how you can design your apps and make them actually look very appealing for the App Store and for your users. If you have any questions, send me an email at tope at appdesignfor.com. Thank you very much for watching this. I'm looking forward to showing you more of this app in the future.